With observables, there's lazy and there's, there's not lazy for computation time. And what I mean by that is a lazy observable will run the method you put into it at subscribe time. A non-lazy observable will run the method before subscribe time. And I'll give you a better example of that here. So if we do just a callback, that should be... And we just do... Let me callable. Net dot... Get text from web, and I'll show you the method here. So it just gets from this text and returns that. We take it and we change the text to buy. Get buy. And then we, we subscribe to this. Oops. Subscribe to that and we do that. We are going to get this equals to callable by and it's going to be doing that because it's not on my computating net dot get text from web here it's using it here it's running the method in this subscribe we're just going to do another example first we're going to get I'm make a new net Well, uh, we're going to just do just. Unit dot text equals by byte by. Okay. I copy this and. We we will get a different result now. Um, just isn't lazy, so it's going to be computating the get text from web from the just and not the subscribe. So see here we have the full text. So what we did computate the method from here and not the subscribe. Um, the subscribe. This is this is very important because. There are times where you want to have something asynchronous, so you want it to be running from here, from here, and you want the subscribe to be on the UI thread. So this is very important, whether it's lazy or not lazy. So you can pretty much have a network operation that get, that gets um, something from the web, like an image. Just would be very good for that but doing from callable wouldn't be because you would be running on the UI thread when you um, post your results and that's it for lazy